Hello, welcome to the Sloan Zone. I started reading some thrillers. So I started reading Solomon's Curse uh, by Clive Cussler and Russell Blake. Uh, it's a pretty cool book. It starts off with this old school mysterious thing that happened to this kingdom. Um, it's not really a spoiler because it's right at the beginning. So, you know, basically a tsunami comes and wipes out this, uh, this old kingdom. And then there's a couple that comes along later, you know, like our time, and they're looking for treasure kind of. Somebody says they found something when they were diving. So now these two are going to go diving here in the Solomon Island area and try to find this old place. So pretty interesting, pretty cool setup. Uh, I see parts of it that are thriller, but something that struck me as odd uh, about, I don't know, for me when I think of a thriller, I think of like page turning nonstop. Uh, you know, if you've ever read my books, you'll see that like a lot of it's like, you know, scene, scene, and then relax. Scene, scene of action, relax. And I felt like this is a lot of relax, relax, relax before it gets into the scene, scene, scene action stuff. So <laughs> uh, if that makes any sense. By scene, I just mean like there's a thing called scene sequel format that a lot of writers talk about. And it means that you're having a scene of action and stuff going on, scene of stuff going on. Not necessarily action, but drama or something like that. And then you have relax time, the sequel, the sequel to the scene, you know, so your downtime. And then scene, scene. And then a lot of people say, like Brandon Sanderson on his podcast, they talk about thrillers, uh, the writing excuse of the podcast. They talk about how in a thriller, that sequel portion after the scene is going to be more to like, you know, kind of catch your breath and say, uh oh, look at what danger we're in. And then they go more. But at this point in this book, in the early parts, it's like just slow, slow, slow. Um, so I'm sorry, this coming across, across this kind of criticism, but it's just something that surprised me uh, because I think of thrillers as more action packed and it should be more thrillerly, you know? Like if you watch National Treasure, pretty much the whole time it's like thriller 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 what's gonna happen what's gonna happen right from the get-go you know and that's how I want my books to be and so I'm okay with books a little bit being a little bit shorter if they're gonna be a little more engaging um, yes so anyway the book is fun there's like all rumors about you know um, what do they have they have giants on the island supposedly they have other mysterious you know what's gonna happen are we gonna die are these things gonna kill us and it's pretty fun so I recommend checking that out. Uh, next, I'm going to be looking at the the Pharaoh's Secret, I think it is. I'll put the right names in the title so you guys can laugh at me and say how dumb I was for getting them all wrong, which I often do because my memory is horrible, but my reading skills are amazing. So, yes, check out that book <laughs> if you're into the thriller market. Um, the reason being that I'm discussing this is I'm writing a thriller with P.T. Hilton. I'm also writing a post-apocalyptic uh, kind of survival story, so I'll be looking at some more of those. And we're going to be interviewing more authors in those genres on the Creative Writing Career podcast. So that's exciting. Um, if you want to go check that out, creativewritingcareer.com. And in the meantime, stay tuned for more episodes of The Sloan Zone.